Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chloe, I am otherwise known as Lady Rights. So happy that you have clicked to watch today's video. However, if you are new or this is one of your first few times here, please click that subscribe button before you go. This will make sure that you stick around to see all of my upcoming videos and I have lots planned for you, so it would mean the absolute world to me. Today, as you'll have seen, we are swatching an entire collection of lipsticks from Bobbi Brown. We are looking at the, um, these ones are called the Lux Lip Colour. So these are their standard lipsticks. And this is the Lucky in Lux collection, which was created initially for Valentine's Day. Some of the shades are limited edition and some are part of their regular range of Lux lipsticks. Now I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the lipsticks. I did have all eight, which I will add in if I can find it. However, excuse me, itchy nose. <laughs> itchy nose. However, I have a toddler, a toddler who is AKA otherwise known as the magpie of the house, who literally saw these on the side, wandered up, decided he quite liked the look of them and has put the remaining last one somewhere I don't know where. Um, so there's a missing Bobby Brown lipstick in my house, which could be quite dangerous because I'll probably find it drawn on a wall at some point. Anyway, we're going to swatch the collection as I have it and hopefully if I find the eighth I'll add it in to a video or put it on Instagram or something. But for now we're going to go with all of these lipsticks and see how they look. If you guys have never tried a Bobbi Brown lipstick before, you are missing out. Now, they're about £28 per lipstick, so they are pricey. However, they're totally worth it in my opinion. The pigmentation that you get in a Bobbi Brown lipstick is amazing. The payoff is fantastic. Whether you go for their matte lipsticks, the more creamy versions, the everyday, whichever ones it is, whichever formula you go for, I've never heard anyone say that they try a Bobbi Brown lipstick and are anything less than super impressed with it. The colour shades are wearable. Um, they the thing about Bobbi Brown is like their range is known for being like the everyday nude, the stuff that you will wear and put on your face every day. Because as much as we like to think we're going to wear a bold blue eyeshadow, yeah, we are, but not every day. Not most of us anyway. So that's the great thing that I love about Bobbi Brown. That's why I've got so many of their eyeshadow palettes, their lipsticks in my collection. Um, I bought in Black Friday the entire like mini collection of their lipsticks as well. I had some of the shades already, but I just couldn't resist because I thought you can never have too many lipsticks. When you guys find a formula that you love, I highly recommend investing in it. Like at the end of the day, looking good makes me feel good and I feel better about myself when I'm wearing nice makeup and when I find something that I like to wear that looks good, that complements my skin tone and basically does exactly what I want it to, I see it as an investment. So yeah, I snapped up a lot of lipsticks last year from Bobbi Brown because as soon as I fell in love with the formula, I was like, that's it, I'm converted, I need as many as I can get in my collection. So the Lucky in Lux collection is basically, as I said, it was created for Valentine's Day. So we've got a lot of reds, we've got a lot of pinks in here, which I thought would be, you know, pretty fun for a lipstick swatching video because, you know, who doesn't love a bit of pink, a bit of red as a special occasion as Valentine's Day would have been. That was a little while ago. But I think with spring well and truly on the way and summer on the horizon, it will be here before we know it. Everybody likes a pop of colour on their lip, especially kind of when you're on holiday, when the sun's out, night out, girls night out, whatever it may be. So these are the perfect lipsticks to invest in. Um, I'm intrigued to see what these colours come out with. Haven't tried any of these shades yet. So it's going to be as new for me as it is for you. And I hope that you'll stick around, watch the video and then leave me a comment at the end and let me know which shade you are loving the most. So as I say every time, you guys come here. Okay, so we are going to go in with afternoon tea. This is kind of, I would say, like a nudie tone pink, like one of your more everyday versatile shades. Um, it's kind of mauve, pink, rose, um, probably the more wearable of the shade for me personally, because when it comes to everyday, this is the sort of shade I would naturally wear anyway. So let's have a go. Next up, we've got Retro Coral, which is naturally a pink coral, uh, and I love it. I love coral tones, especially in the summer. They're my kind of thing. This is very pink, so I'm hoping it's still going to be a really nice wearable shade. Next up, we've got New York Sunset. This is one I'm looking forward to try. Anything to do with New York, I'm like, yeah. 
from there. Now this is probably a darker kind of looking one of the first shade, the afternoon tea that we tried. It's probably got more, I think it's like a dark tomatoey red. Like if you imagine like vine ripened tomatoes, that's this kind of color. So let's have a look. Next up is Tahiti Pink. My limp, my limps, lips are starting to get a little bit red now anyway, just from the rubbing off in between the lipsticks, um, but that's not a problem. Tahiti Pink is kind of, you know when you think of like Hawaiian flowers? And you think of like those like beautiful pink flowers that come in it, that's this kind of pink. Um, so I think I'm gonna love it, love a good pink. Next up we've got Manhattan Sunrise, which is your pure pink, pinky red. This is like fire engine, um, like phone box red, I think. Like I love this shade. Like this is gonna make your face pop. This is like your summer red. Now we've got Soho Sizzle, which is more of a brown tone red. Um, again, I've been loving the brown tones in this. I'd say there's three strains running through this range. You've got the normal bold reds, the brown tone reds, and the pink tone reds. This is definitely one of the more brown tones. And as I said, Soho Sizzle. But not least, we've got Imperial Red, which is probably going back to that fire engine y type red shade, just a tiny bit brown in there, just a little bit darker, a bit more vampy if that's what you like in your red lipstick. So, this is Imperial Red. So guys, there we have it. The entire Lucky and Lux lipstick collection from Bobbi Brown swatched for you. What do you guys think? Which was your favorite shade? Now I've kept this one on because I absolutely love it. This was the last one that we tried. Um, however, I'm not gonna lie. I really liked Tahiti Pink because it was just a little bit different to the others in the range. Very pink, very like feminine and girly, which I like. And then Afternoon Tea, the first one, that was also a big favorite of mine because it had like a bit more of a nude kind of brownie tone to it. So those were a big win for me, but let me know what you guys think was your absolute favorite in the range. The great thing about these lipsticks for me, I would say, is because they do have that kind of soft shine to the finish. They're not matte, but they literally have the same power in their color as you'll have seen as a matte, but with a little bit of a shiny finish. It's not glossy. It just makes it look a little bit dimensional, makes your lips look fuller. I have a very thin top lip, so I always like to make sure I've got something with a bit of shine just to add a bit of dimension in there. As I said, guys, I will link these lipsticks in the comments below so you can pick them up if you want to. Remember, some of the shades are limited edition so you need to snap them up super super quick um, but I hope that you've enjoyed today's swatching video I love to show you guys all of the shades in a range of makeup products that's one of my favorite types of videos to do so I hope that you have enjoyed it as well before you go though I do hope that today's video has made you want to click that subscribe button so that you're ready for the next video from Lady Writes because I would love it if you join me for that as well however for now I will say goodbye and see you soon thanks for watching today's video